Hey guys, today, well last night I caught a scorpion, so today I'm really hoping to get the tarantula out of the way. Um, I didn't make it late in my game yet because I want to check out the shops and get some things done around town after that. So we're gonna get into it. Oh, is this not working? There we go. Okay, sorry about that. Got mail. It's not overflowing like last time, thankfully. And this game's mocking me because it's a snail right there. A message for Kathy. I was feeling a little down, but then I got a thoughtful letter from you in the mail. It really cheered me up. I want to write letters that cheer people up too. Best wishes, Lily. To her, I read your letter and could feel the compassion within. Sometimes I'll throw finished letters away here because I suddenly get embarrassed. Let's chat again sometime. I sent you. Oh yeah, I sent them letters because. I upset Lily and Julian actually gave me a piece of art from the museum that was legitimate, so I was very happy about that. A night, okay. Oh, my pockets are full. Wow, okay. What? Oh, yeah, I have all. Okay, I'm gonna put these away because I'm not ready to do anything with them yet. This room looks so good right now. You know, what, I'm just going to put this in the secret storage because it's like, it's a lot. A lot of stuff. Then he said, "I got two beans." Oh, our fountain got built, guys. So we can take a picture of that. And we can build something else. I'm thinking of building like a lamp near retail and the cafe. Oh, we can bring this to Cyrus to work on. Squish. is done. Yes. God, my pinks are driving me crazy. I only got them like two weeks ago and they're already like too long that like they're bothering me. Ah no I meant Okay, let's go. 
Yeah, let's get our tools. Are you gonna let them from my house or by the beach? Yeah, okay. So we'll start with the silver. I don't think I need any of these other things. All right. The silver. Let's start with the money rock is what I meant to say. But it is the silver shovel that I needed. this here for Potter. Normally I would like hate the squishing sound from when they run but I love like that like that little detail that you know like all these things that Nintendo puts in the game. Damn it. It wasn't fast enough. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. Let's go find our fossils. Charge it. Mhm. Mm Thank you. Crap. She wants my silver nugget? Okay, Phoebe. <laughs> well, not a freebie. Maybe if it was like a shirt or like a random furniture item, I would let her have it. But not a silver nugget. Alright, we did. That's our good day. Good, good deed for the day. We made Phoebe happy. Not a four leaf clover. Oh, somebody did give me one. Our fountain looks good. Still no fly. Um, not sure if the rain affects that. I don't know why I'm having such a difficult time planting a fly. Oh, yeah, I put my money together. One more. I was just letting us know that the fountain was completed, which I already know because I freaking I'm the one who freaking played it uh, paid it off.
Aw, Lily's out enjoying the rain. She wants to give me a stove. No, I'm gonna say no. <laughs> I don't really want a stove. Um, sometimes they will give it... If you say no, they will give it to you, like, through other ways. Like, trades or, like, as a reward for, like, completing stuff. Um, if I was super concerned about catalog completion, I would have bought it from her, but... Um, that's not really my main focus in this town. I'm really... Right now, I'm trying to, like... Work on decorating, like, for the theme that I want. Um... I might eventually try and complete the catalog, but right now it's not really like a priority for me. Oh, there it was. Okay. Go to Blathers, have him identify our fossils. We haven't gotten any new ones in a while, I feel like. We definitely didn't get any yesterday. Makes me sad. And let's see how long I can go without cheating the system, guys. <laughs> We already have them on display, okay. Nope, Hydrega season is over. And yeah. Apparently, I still have not bought 50 saplings. Fish it forward. Oh, and I don't. Oh, okay. So I have to find. Oh, man, this is hard. I have to catch a fish I haven't caught before and donate it. Seal the camp. It's raining today. What are the chances I can actually accomplish this today? Fortune cookie. I'm running low on coins. <laughs> Sometimes that witch protects you must also fight for you as well. This is a new one, I think, because I don't. Or. Oh, uh, new for us at least. Puffy cakes. Um, I'm doing other. I'm doing my daily routine in town. I'm decorating. I'm. I have some more chess pieces. Um, well, not new ones. I just ordered more to decorate the house with. And for my town initiative today, I have a cedar camp to catch. So let's see if I can catch two of the hardest creatures in Animal Crossing today. What's up with you? Mm, no. I 
was not you I meant to talk to. No. A lot of striped furniture here. Alright, let's go on Potter and find his money rock. Pay off his house. Put some of the new chess pieces. Well, it's only one new chess piece, but whatever. I caught a scorpion last night. That's why like, I'm so determined to get the tarantula tonight. <laughs> Not much. Restart my talents because I don't really like them very much. And I also got my new copy today. Now I have three talents, but my new copy. I'm just having two themes. Ooh, what themes are you, you, um, what themes are you looking at? I want to know what the chances of getting, like, the same money rock for, like, both players are I don't I can't imagine that it's like that high Damn it I feel like when I when I used to play like in Quantico, I feel like I was able to get nine hits out of it every time. D T V odd sup. <gasps> Gilmore Girls, I love Gilmore Girls. Such a good show. Oh my god, that would be such a cute theme for a town. Did you watch the revival on Netflix? I know of Lord of the Rings, um, but I've never watched it. <laughs> no, I don't hack. I don't have the computer skills for that. Like, I'm super bad at computers. <laughs> Unbelievably sad. Bad, well, oh, bad and sad. I plot reset, um, so what you have to do is cover your whole entire town in QR codes, except for the spots where you want them to move in, um, and then that way once they move in, you will be able to get them where you want them to, and then you can pick up the ugly QR codes. If you go back and you watch my earlier Animal Crossing videos, you will be able to see this process. Star Fox Trinity, sup? Oh my god, yes, I watched it for my but I don't know. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait! This is the question that will determine, like, all your friendships. Team Dean, Jess, or Logan? I do have a YouTube channel. 
you can see it um, in the panels below. Pimp juice? Don't be mad. Team Logan! <laughs> I'm definitely Team Jess. Dean was okay in the first season in the first season but in the second season i feel like he got really controlling and then there was that weird like storyline where he cheated on lindsay and i just no and honestly like i when i watched the show when i was younger i like i hated lindsay and i think like they intended like for us to like like she was supposed to be an obstacle between like dean and rory but i feel like you know when you watch it when you're older like they're kind of a dick to her. Like, all she wants is, like, to be happy with her husband. You know, like, like De um, Dean cheats on her and all that. Linny, Linny Looney, sup? And then that weird, like, agreement that he's got with Logan in the revival where, I don't know, he's with the, whatever, he's dating some girl that, like, his parents want him to date, I don't know. Counter table, oh, I can redo these. Arch brick floor. And a tart. Oh, okay. I actually want Cyrus to work on the tart before the chess pieces. I have to remember that. Taylor. Taylor should be the mayor! Oh my god. You could make him... Yeah, you can make one of the rooms like Josie's Market. And then, and his, thanks for the follow, Looney Looney. Um, so you can make one of the rooms Dozie's Market, and then you could make it, like, his little ice cream shop. And a room for, like, where they do the meetings for, um, the town, you know, the town hall meetings. That would be really cool. Okay, we're gonna, okay, the brick, we finally replaced the common room floor. I'm not in love with this, but it's a step up for now. And then you should do Luke, because you could do Luke's diner, and you can do his, like, little studio, um, on the second floor. And, like, for one of the rooms, you can make, like, an ice skating rink. Although, I do, like, I'm not against Logan... Like, in the sense that, like, he is the boyfriend she had, like, when she was at, like, the most mature stage of her life. But my favorite is still Jess. <laughs> well, let's check the RV. There's probably, like, nothing really good there. I probably could have just started this up at 8 o'clock instead of coming in and then saving and then doing it again, but whatever. Obviously, I'm doing Lorelai and Rory and Luke too. I was thinking Emily, but then Taylor would have to go. Yeah, he, I guess you could, like, combine, I don't know, would it be, um, if this is hard, <laughs> yeah, he, he would make the sense, most sense as a mayor. If you do Emily, the Rococo, the, Ro Ro the Rococo furniture set, 
if the especially the specifically like the sofa and the armchair if you get that redone in the white color it's gonna look like the exact sofa that she has in her house you know that they do like for friday night dinners oh pave's here okay yeah i don't want a hospital bed and i don't want a rock either Yeah, I said that this is what I wanted Cyrus to work on. I don't have my fishing rod on me. Ah. Slim Langley, I, ooh, a Dorado, awesome, okay, I plot reset for my villagers' houses, so what you have to do is cover your whole entire town QR codes, except for where you want them to move into, um, so that's a three by three square and then one space in the center for the door, um, so once you do that, your villagers will move in where you want them to, and then you can pick up the QR codes once you get everybody lined up and nice. Um, if you go back and you watch my older Animal Crossing videos, you'll be able to see how I did this. I mean, Taylor is a unisex name, so you could technically... Actually, it would be funny if you made her a girl and then dressed her up as an old man, like in wig and glasses. Like, that would be hysterical. Yeah. Nintendo made it so much easier with the Welcome Amiibo update. Back in the day, you had to build 20 fountains all over your town and make a new character each time and just hope that they moved in where you want. Power Ranger Jenna, what's up? Alright guys, we're going tarantula hunting. It's 8pm now. <laughs> I feel like if you're going to cut Taylor out, you should make Luke the mayor because I feel like he would be a good mayor, but he would do he would he would do it like very begrudgingly. <laughs> oh my god, and you could do the inn and you can make like the back room like Suki's kitchen. I'm like so excited to see your town now. <laughs> Your new chew early what is that? The mod gave me a candy bar, but like I don't know where I put it and I like I wanna eat it. We are talking about Gilmore girls. <laughs> uh since I time traveled I cheated the system and um my 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 night is done. <laughs> Jan walks up. <laughs> yeah, cheating the system. Not once, but twice. <laughs> okay, I think there's a chocolate and an apple tart. I think I'm gonna have him do apple. I could always order another tart. Awesome! Did you do your hair yet? 
apple. Oh, there's a berry and a lemon. Oh my god. Wait, maybe I should do lemon because, like, Dumbledore loves lemons. I have severe anxiety, OCD, and some other things, but blah, blah, blah. I chew on everything. But with the chew. Oh, that's cool. And yeah, Poffy Cakes is thinking about doing like a Gilmore Girls themed um, Animal Crossing town. So we're just like, we're like discussing ideas for her town. Apple, Choco, Lemon, Berry. What other ones do they have? Cotton Candy! No, I love matcha, but I don't think that would fit with the theme. Oh my god, this is so hard. Okay, I'm gonna do the lemon and see what it looks like. If I don't like it, I'll have him change it just because, you know, like, Dumbledore loves lemon drops. Oh, I can sell that fish. Fifteen thousand. Wow, that's a lot. It's more than a, I think that's more than the sharks. You, uh, for me, I ordered it from. I scanned somebody. Oh, maybe I should just order another tart. I ordered it from. Who did I scan in yesterday for it? Oh my god! I can't, olive. Olive. I scanned in Olive's RV. I think Luke and Emily. Thanks for the follow, Power Ranger Jenna. I think Luke and Emily are both important, but I really think they should be married. But I legit, like, kind of already have a plan for a town with Emily in it. So, uh, who, who's Lola's husband or Emily? Who is the Oh my God! I don't know. Now you're stressing. There's too many, too many options, too many questions. You're stressing me out. <laughs> What do you know? What you're gonna name the town? You, are you gonna name it Stars Hollow? You're gonna name it Stars Hollow, right? Because if you name it Stars Hollow, technically, Emily doesn't live in Stars Hollow, right? She lives in another um, town or another city that they have to like drive to. Um, so if you wanna be technical about it, she doesn't actually live in Stars Hollow. Uh, why can I not remember the town that Emily lives in? Oh, I'm glad you're enjoying my stream. <laughs> Hartford! Thank you! Yes! Okay, so Emily technically lives in Hartford, so if you named it Stars Hollow, technically, technically, Emily doesn't live in Stars Hollow. <laughs> I don't know how helpful that is. <laughs> I don't need too many tools to cycle through when I'm trying to catch a tarantula. So rainy. What do you guys think? Do you think I will have a better chance catching a seacanth or a tarantula? Probably if I like devoted my time to like one specific things, it wouldn't. It, I would have an easier time than like wasting my time doing both. But we're gonna try it. Did you watch the um, revival on Netflix? Oh my god, are you excited for season two? It was a sea bass! Ooh. Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll see the tarantula like over like by the edges. <gasps> we can get coffee in a to-go cup? I completely forgot about that. It's random. Honestly, it's hard for me to multiplayer because this is an older 3DS and the Wi-Fi is horrible um but if i get enough requests i'll try to do it like if i get enough requests maybe we can do one next week i don't know why but for animal crossing when i do it it's horrible but when i do smash my smash streams are fine i don't have any problems with that and i would think that smash is more like graphic heavy than animal crossing 
They didn't announce it, but I like I know they're like talking about um, having the actors come back for her because what's his name Milo uh, whatever I can't say his last name, but he was talk like they wanted him to come back, but it's like conflicting with his um because he's on like This Is Us or whatever, and he's like having issues with his filming schedule on that. I'm gonna name a hollow, but what I was thinking. What I was thinking was having Taylor, Loreline, Rory in an area of a bunch of trees and barely in villagers and then Emily in the area with the majority of the votes since Harford's bigger and such. To me, my original plan was Laura, Rory, Emily, and Luke, but I forgot Taylor was the mayor. <sighs> are you talking about the towns in Gilmore Girls or are you talking about Animal Crossing towns? Because <laughs> this conversation is making it a little confusing. So I just run around here and I hope that a tarantula tries to attack me. Do tarantulas even show up in the rain? I didn't pl tan plan this out. Taylor is a butt. I do have pears actually. Oh, I need more water. One moment, guys. That makes sense. It's hard. Oh my god. I'm like, I'm like stressing out over all the options that you have. Chilton. Oh my god. Oh, that would be a cool idea for a Rory's room. I saw something. You have to collect all the emojis that he has. Uh, well, I think the main thing is you you don't know if she uh, you don't know if you should keep Taylor or Emily, right? No, you're not leaving, Tabby. Happy Home Designer was a pretty good game, but I'm like, I really want them to give us, like, a proper Animal Crossing game. He's, um, did you unlock Club LOL yet? When did you start playing this game? I really want one on the Switch. I was so upset they didn't announce anything at, like, um, E3 or Nintendo Direct. Because at E3, when Nintendo came out, it, like, when they showed the logo for Nintendo, they, at the, like, very top of the tree, they had, like, a new leaf icon. So, like, they must, like, they know there is a demand for Animal Crossing on the Switch. They just don't want to give it to us. Um, so... In about a few days, you're this like, it's, 
what is Dr. Strange? I think he's an Oxalot. Anyway, this guy's gonna come to you. He's gonna tell you that, like, uh, he wants to open Club LOL. You need to collect the signatures. So, once you collect the signatures and Club LOL opens, um, you bring him a piece of fruit every day and he will teach you a dance. Oh, if you mean the animal, he's an Oxalot, I'm pretty sure. Okay, it's either Taylor, Lorelai, Rory, Luke, Taylor, Lorelai, Rory, and Emily. Lorelai, Rory, Emily, and Luke. Oh my god. This is so special. Do you have, like, a lot of ideas for, like, how to decorate, like, Taylor's room? They probably don't want a repeat of the New Leaf rollout and having to wait for a couple of years. What do you mean by that? Because New Leaf was, like, this is my first Animal Crossing game. Somebody, like, bought it for me. Oh, yeah, so go bring a piece of fruit to Shrunk. There's 40 dance, uh, um, um, emotions, emoticons? I don't know what you call it. Um, okay, so you know that little book where you fill it up? Count how many you have until the last one, because the very last one that you get is this dance. You know I saw Gulliver sleeping on the- Oh, Gulliver's here. Cool. Yeah, I'm so sad he wasn't in the revival. They showed a preview of New Leaf at E3 three years ago before they released it. I may have been but it was like a long wait. I was watching some- YouTube video where they were saying that like Nintendo knows there's a demand and they're working on it and the guy was saying that like based off that extrapolation or whatever that we should be getting um, a new Animal Crossing game at least an announcement next year yeah it was so sad I was watching an interview Lizzie you are my lobster friends reference <laughs> are you my princess kiss me and wake me from my endless slumber Hey, wait a sec, just who are you? You don't look like no princess. Rude. I'm Gulliver, just a humble little sailor of some note around the seven or eight seas. Wait, could it be you were the one that saved me? Oh my gosh, what I have done. Sophia Mira, sup? No, I don't really have ideas for Taylor beside the market and the soda. But I don't want Soda Shop to be upstairs, so I don't know what I do up there, but I feel like him being made is kind of important. But all these main cats. Well, if she, was Taylor a main character of the show, or was he like a reoccurring character? I can't believe I was so rude to my rescue. Yeah! Screw you, Gulliver. Find your heart to forgive me. That's what heroes do. I'm actually very confused at the exact moment. I guess I went overboard and was tossed into the sea. God, typical. Problem I fought for dozing off on the side of a ship in the middle of the biggest storm ever. I don't have a single memory of what happened after that. Sea amusia, they call it. Come think of it. I'm pretty sure I was on my way to some place or another, since you know I'm a sailor. Hmm. Where was I headed? If I could at least remember the name of the silly place. Oh, I know. It's so obvious. Will you help me figure out where I was headed? Sure. You mean it? I haven't met such a noble skipper since old Bobbery of Roadport. Not even close. Now I suppose we should start with anything and everything I can remember about where I was going. Yeah, he is the mayor, but he's only reoccurring, so I guess it's okay. And for some reason, I was thinking of, like, pink cotton candy. Yeah, you, he passed away. I, I was, like, talking. I was saying it was, like, sad. The country I was headed to is really famous for its tulips. Being near all those 
Colorful flowers gives me an almost magical feeling, though some of that magic may have been blown in by those gigantic windmills, which are also awesome. Wait, windmills don't really work like that, do they? Point is, I never forget the sight of the windmills in the tulip fields. Too bad I can't remember the name of the country. Just my luck. Does that description sound like anything? Uh, I think it was the Netherlands. The Netherlands. Yes, that's the place. It's all coming back to me. Man, I was worried for a moment there. The ideas are spinning around my head like a windmill. I'm grateful to you. Very grateful. I'll think of you when I'm in the tulip fields of the Netherlands. I promise I'll send you a fancy souvenir. It might take a while, but you better get your hopes up. Oh, that's sad. I think... Did he have actual heart problems, the actor? Ooh. Do you live there? Are you there on vacation now? Oh, sad. It sucks that he didn't get a chance to do the revival, but I'm happy that, like, they included him and they didn't just, like, you know, like, it was a big plot point, you know, like, that Emily, you know, that's Emily's husband and Lorelai's father, whatever, that he died, whereas, like, other shows, like, a big, like, part, like, a cast member dies and they just kind of, like, yeah, he's dead, like, I feel like Glee, like, okay, yeah, they did a tribute episode and then, like, a couple episodes about the character struggling with his death, but they didn't really, like, acknowledge it, but I think the difference is what, like, uh, Corey, whatever his last name is, he died from, like, a drug overdose, so I guess they didn't want to, like, get too into it, if that makes any sense. She said 71. You know a lot of, like, Gilmore Girls trivia. I'm very impressed. I've only, like, I really just, like, watched the show on Netflix. I was like that with Pretty Little Liars. I like researched so many theories and I had like written so many of my own theories about like who A was and then like Marlene King just like spat in our faces. I know it sounds Sure, I'll catch you a snail. Oh, wow. So sad. Wait. Jen, okay, so Poffy already answered this. You have to tell us. Team Dean, Jess, or Logan? Tarantula hunting stresses me out because, like, all you do is, like, walk around and, like, hope that it gets better. 
I do prefer Logan to Dean. So, there's that. Like I said, Dean's season one was okay, but after season two, he was, like, very controlling. And then I didn't like the way he, cheat he, like, he treated Lindsay and then, like, ultimately, like, him cheating on her. Really, I'm the opposite. I didn't mind Logan that much, but Dean, after season one, I couldn't stand him. Incredibles 1 was much better. Corey Haim? I don't know who that is. Also, Nimbler Bun, hi! Yeah! And then after season 2, he was just like too overbearing. Have any of you guys seen Ant-Man yet? You've been the subject of some gossip lately. Rumor has that you're a bug whisperer. So, uh, is it true? Yeah. Been catching a lot of bugs. Huh. Really, huh? I guess the rumor well gets one right once in a while. They were both really good. This is, like, Finding Dory, I feel like, is one of the few movies where, like, the hype, like, for the sequel was worth it. Like, with The Incredibles 2, there was a lot of hype around it. It was a good movie. But I feel like we really built it up, and then... It just, it wasn't as good, it wasn't as good as I, like, had hoped, but, like, Finding Dory, like, I was, like, so excited for it, and, like, it didn't disappoint. I did not know that Dean wasn't supposed to be the actor. Who was it supposed to be? Or, whatever, the guy that, like, played Dean, I didn't know it was meant to be somebody else. I know that Jess was supposed to have, like, um, a show of him in California, but, like, the contract came through. I forgot exactly, like, what happened with it. But, I remember, like, they did want Jess to stay on for, like, all the season throughout the show, but the actor only wanted to do two. And then they tried to be, like, you know, like, we can give you your own show. Like, Cal that was the episode where he went to go visit his dad or whatever. But it ended up, like, not working out. So he would just come back and do, like, guest appearances after that. I just feel like Logan Rory was so fitting, could have made life to her, but just pray for Rory, especially in the rival. He's so much more put together and so much. But Dean, I feel like was just Rory's first Rory friend. He wasn't an explosion. Yeah, I think like they said that Dean was supposed to be like the first like ideal boyfriend that like what every girl wants or whatever. But I don't know. I feel like in season two he gets like off the character. Jackson wasn't supposed to be such a main character, but everyone asked for him to come back. Oh, Jackson's kind of funny. I like the I like him and Suki together. I think they're cute. But, like, it's crazy, like, because I recently, like, a couple months ago, had been watch binge-watched Gilmore Girls, like, the seven seasons, like, the show that was on television, and then I watched the revival. When you watch it like that, it's crazy to see how much Suki's, uh, or M M uh, her name is, like, Melissa McCarthy. Her voice has changed a lot. Like, I know it's normal for them, like, 
your voice to change when you get older. But I feel like, you know, like, Luke still sounded like Luke and Lorelai sound like, especially, like, even Rory. Like, she was, like, a young adult, like, teenage-ish when the show began. Like, she's significantly older now. But I feel like Rory, like, to me, still sounded like Rory. But Suki sounded super different to me. Monsters Inc. <laughs> that was hard, but I do, I do think that like the first one was slightly better than the first one. It's like a tiny bit. So I knew there was I don't know the specifics, but I do know that there was a reason. I knew there was like contract issues or whatever. Which is why she only, like, did, like, a very small appearance, I believe, like, in the last episode. But, like, as far as, like, the specifics, I have no idea. Fill me in. I want to know. But I'm also, like, too lazy to go and Google it. I haven't played like a ton of Mario games, so I don't like I don't I don't think I can like I don't have enough knowledge to answer that. I don't have enough information. Yeah. <laughs> What's like the most common one that you heard about it? And I had to donate a new fish to give to the museum. I just remembered. Along with the coelacanth. Is there... Oh, okay, I did that. Is there a fish that, like, I haven't caught yet that I can, like, catch? Like, even if I were to time travel, is that possible? Pop, pop. This is what I get for being, like, I need to catch every new fish when it comes out and bug and donate to the museum ASAP. I feel like this system should be like smart enough to like weed out things that I can't do. Arapanema, Blue Marlin, I've donated. Oh, I'm looking at stuff that's new in July. Yeah, I've caught all of these. Napoleon fish, puffer fish, yeah, I've done that. Sweet fish. I'm pretty sure I've caught a sweet fish for the museum. Tonky, why do you not show pictures of anything? I don't... Some of these fishes, I don't know what they look like based off their name. Animal Crossing. I tried playing Stardew Valley a couple of times on this channel, but... I feel like the problem with Stardew Valley is like, okay. Like, every kid in America has played a Pokemon game at one point in their lives or another. But every Pokemon game, they teach you how to catch... And fight the Pokemon and there's like small and like when new stuff gets added in there's like small tutorials on how to do it even for stuff like I said that's been done a million times in Pokemon Stardew Valley I feel like they don't give you enough breadcrumbs to figure out what to do they're just like here go down the mines and get this but nobody tells you what you're supposed to be doing when you're um, working on it so I feel like it's a little harder uh, because I, I know it's an indie game that Nintendo put on the switch or whatever so whoever like developed it didn't really think this part through, I feel like. Um, I googled stone tile paths and something like that until I found like ones that I liked. 
NJW15, the mod has not had a chance to do it yet because he's busy at work and installing um, crap around the house. I don't know. Manly stuff. Um, but I will ask him when he comes back. Again. Hey, Fada. Uh, no, I didn't. Not weird at all. Have I caught this? I feel like I have. It's like some type of water eel. Or just an eel. Oh, I liked Suki. But I liked that about Suki. Oh, okay. So apparently eels are freshwater fish. I thought that they were like an ocean fish. I know that Luke wasn't meant to be, like, um, a big character. Like, he was only supposed to be there once, and, like, the person that owned the diner or whatever was supposed to be, like, a female, but they ended up liking him so much they kept in. So, uh, Dad Holland? What do you mean? good. I'm gonna keep it just because um, Dumbledore. I'll probably order another one so I can do with the Apple one because I do think the Apple one is more aesthetically more pleasing to look at. Oh, gotcha. No problem. God, Drago asked me for a snail, and I scared it away. And that's not a snail. Okay. We're gonna decorate again. Mm, well, she ended up coming to do the show, so I'm very happy about that. <laughs> We're gonna do a lemon tart. Here. Very fitting that it goes on the Gryffindor side because, like I said, my main reason for picking it is that Dumbledore um, is obsessed with lemon drops. So, okay, rice balls doesn't really go on the theme. Although, rice balls are delicious. If you guys ever had one, they're so good. I love them. At least she came back to do the show. Well, like, you know, for a tiny appearance. But I wonder, like, since they did... It looks like they did ask her. I wonder if she's going to have a bigger part in, like, um, season two of the revival. King Panda Lo, sup?
Yeah, I forgot I can have him do another chess piece. Is it? I feel like they've been talking about doing, like, a season two because she said that, like, the, um, with season two, I know she said she wanted, like, the last four words of the show to be, like, mom, I'm pregnant or whatever, but, like, there's still, like, a lot that they didn't, like, they left too many, like, open ends to the story, like, you know, Rory and her baby, like, is she gonna keep it? Is she gonna, is it Logan's? Is she gonna tell Logan? I, that, no. Cool gamer, sup? <laughs> I want to see Rory's baby and see if she tells Logan and marries him and raises it like Laura, but without Logan, but I'm really sure it's Logan. I feel like it has to be just because, like, she, like, never saw Paul. Um, so it couldn't have been is, but I guess, like, in theory, it's not improbable. But, yeah, I just, they, they did leave, like, a lot of open, at the very least, if there isn't, if they hadn't planned on doing a season two, I do feel like they, ah, that was a stink bug. Um, they did leave it so that they could possibly go back and do, you know, a another um, season for the revival. I'm good just trying to find the damn tarantula now that I got the scorpion yesterday. And then they never told us if, um, what is this? Oh, it's a cash register. It's also for him. And this is for you also. Okay. Does Lane ever get good sex? I need to know. Because <laughs> she only ever has her two twins, so I'm assuming she's so traumatized from having sex with what's-her-face, his face, that, like, she's just, she's like, nope, never gonna do it again. Was too bad at it.
Somehow I'm missing apples. I thought I had like collected at least every single fruit like in the closet <laughs> so I could bury them later, but uh, I guess I was wrong. Alright, let's find Fauna and give her her pear and plant some. Hey, Anka. Ardos, sup? Okay, she saw me that. Okay, I don't want tutorial stuff. I don't have my shovel. Okay. Fauna! Oh, I should have given her a perfect pair. It's too late. I've been wanting that for so long, and it was as good as I'd hoped. Here, to express thanks, please have my modern chair. I'm good. Just trying to fill the museum up by getting the hardest stuff out of the way first. Modern chair. No. Fauna, let me pass. Phoebe! Ugh. Hopefully she'll give me her flame shirt so at least I can send it back to her to change into. Don't want to have the net out because it makes tarantulas aggressive. I get the feeling that they don't come out in the rain and I'm wasting my time. But I'm gonna Google it to double check. Damn it! They don't come out in the rain. I've been wasting my time. Alright, well, I guess I can try to catch a can for this. And they also don't appear if the town's gate is open. Okay, well, I've wasted my time with that. Do I catch a coelacanth or do I go to the island? Welcome back. I just found out that I've been wasting my time. Uh, tarantulas don't come out in the freaking rain! I wasn't paying attention! <laughs> or it got buried. Well, now I'm trying to catch a coelacanth because it's one of my initiatives. And I'm pretty sure that, like, I don't have any fi like, fish that I haven't got yet to donate to the museum. I guess I could try time traveling to, like... Maria! That's terrible. What did he do? No, it's not your fault. <laughs> it's mine for not reading more carefully.
I am too. And thank you for the bits, Maria. <laughs> I forgot. Well, I think I only responded to like the cousin part of your comment. Thank you. Oh no. Thank you. <laughs> Getting blood taken is the worst. <gasps> Thank you. <gasps> Thank you for the bits, Maria. <laughs> Is this my Sela camp? Oh, what are they looking for, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, it's a blue marlin! Okay, it's not what we were looking for, but I don't want to be ungrateful and complain because they do sell for a good amount of money. Marshall Crossing! Oh, I'm glad that you were able to, um, breathe. Yeah, once you get, like, the initial two or four roses to start breathing with, breathing, breed, breathing with, the whole process becomes so much easier. She trigger her finger. I'm gonna pretend it was a uh, sea bass to make myself feel better. The tail wasn't long enough. Ooh, hello. Pockets are full, time to go to retail. We have to keep an eye on my liver and diabetes, blood sugar, diabetes, and my family from the other two. Oh, I see, that sucks. Get yourself some ice cream out there to make yourself feel better about having to get blood work done. Decent haul, I think. I can't believe I wasted so much time walking around town looking for that tarantula and they don't even come out in the freaking rain. And after, especially after somebody told me and I, like, I didn't notice. Um, I think I'm gonna have some... Mm, 
I hate needles. Like, literally, when I was a child, my mom would make my... She would make my dad take me to the doctor. Um, so that I wouldn't be mad at her for taking me to the doctor where they would, like, poke me with needles. Oh yeah, I wanted a sphinx where that thing was. Um, I think so. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to put some temporary tiles down so that I can see if it's straight. Alright, we can pick this up. I wonder if it's too late to change the name of my stream to Sealy Camp Hunting instead because I didn't know it was going to rain in town today. Nice. How many more attempts do you have before it gets unlocked?
Oh, okay, you said working on the fortune tell, so I thought you were like time traveling to get her so that you could get your fortune read, um, so that you can go to her. Welcome back. I would if the Wi-Fi wasn't so terrible. I think it's because, like, streaming takes up, like, a lot of the bandwidth. And then on top of that, I sh um, this 3DS is an older one. So the Wi-Fi isn't as good. Because on the new one, it doesn't give me any problems. Ooh, what do you think I'm doing with your new town? Oh my god! You gotta get all the villagers who are like superhero themed in your town. Like Agent S and Mira, I have them both in Quantico, but I know there's other ones. Um, Kid Cat! Kid Cat's a cute one! Oh my god, he's so cute. Well, since the chance is not coming out, I can make it back to normal time. IRL time for me, basically. Oh, that sounds so cute. I would love to uh, probably visit the dream address when you're done with it.
We never caught a snail for Drago. Um, well, for starters, I'm very hungry. <laughs> but also, I can't catch a tarantula today because it's raining. So, um, we're going to see if I can catch a coelacanth. Um, I'm not going to be able to complete this, I don't think. Maybe if I make it earlier. Um, if you PM me the, uh, PM... PM, DM, something, whatever. Send me the dream address, um, and I might, I'll be able to visit it on my own time because, like I said, uh, the Wi-Fi hates me. I don't know what I ever did to it, but it it, it doesn't like me. I'm gonna try. I want to see if I make it like nine. If I make it like in the morning, will there be new fish I haven't caught before that I can donate? Tonky, what are you doing? Tonky is so laggy. Why won't you make me make it the morning, Tonky? Okay, I'm gonna close some of these windows. Oh my god, no, I did it. No, it went back. We make it 9 a.m. Bluegill. I think I've donated that. Donated a carp. Clownfish have donated. Crawfish, yes. Crucian carp, yes. Oh my god, okay. Wow. So basically, I'm a giant... Oh, giant snakehead! Okay. You know what? We're gonna... Oh, oh Jesus. All right. We're going to make it in the morning so that we can um, catch a giant snake head. Is it still morning according to this? No. Alright, so I don't have a giant snake head. We're going to try that along with the coelacanth. And then, oh, but that's not because the coelacanth is in the river. I would rather catch a new fish and be able to work on the, you know, the museum. Because there's other, like, tomorrow I'll have new things, next week I'll have new things. When I scan villagers in to visit their RVs, I get meow, coup meow coupons. So I'm not, like, crazy, like, oh my god, I need a meow coupon. But I am missing fish that, like, you can catch in the morning, like the giant snakehead. Giant snakehead, giant trevally I've donated. I think it's just the giant snakehead, guys. Oh, guppy, maybe the guppy. All right, so basically, I'm not, I'm missing like a lot of early morning fish. Killifish. All right, so some of these I don't remember, but definitely giant snakehead I'm missing. I said that like a million times. Um, so if you want to see Hogwarts, I usually update that at the end of the stream. If you want to see Quantico, um, my first main town, I can PM you. I can send you the address either so you can find me either on instagram twitter or my discord Okay, you can find enclosed ponds not connected to the river as well as wide pools in the river. Okay, this sounds like that it's found in like the big mouth opening of the river. Oh, 
that's cute. Do you have a list of villagers yet that you want, like, in town? The annoying thing about fishing here is like sometimes you can see a fish like in the middle but you like you can't catch it because your fishing rod won't reach. Another one, okay. Well good thing I didn't water my flowers yet because time traveling backwards like negates it or something like that. I don't know about like if you have beautiful town ordinance if they'll die because of that, but I like you know that you won't get any hybrids. God damn it. All right, let me try from the other side. This was a lot of work for a black mass. this but Lily clapped so <laughs> I feel like I should be excited <laughs> mm. Marshall Crossing how's your town coming along now I'm only gonna bother swapping this out if this is something new or good, but I highly doubt that it is. But when I catch it anyway, maybe we'll get our fishing badge for having caught like a lot of fish, like the quantity, not like different types. Motherfucker. 
Is retail open yet? Can I sell off my phone? No, I got eight minutes. Oh, maybe I should just meet at like nine o'clock. But I wanted to make it easier for when I time travel back to the current date so that I wouldn't have to like mess around with the minutes. It's a catfish, which I already have, and I don't think it's rare enough to, like, bother swapping out. Okay, I will look at it on my phone. Hopefully, it, it the app works. The app confuses me a little bit. A koi. This I will swap out because I think a koi is worth like a decent amount of money. Am I the only person who feels bad about releasing like a saltwater fish into the river? Like if I release them, I have to release it back into their natural habitat. <laughs> or else I feel really bad. I'm like, they're gonna die. My friends are like, they're just pixels, Kathy. Wolf Link, what's up? Yes. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't give Wolf Link like in a more original greeting because he is like a special character that you need an amiibo to scan him in.
Nope, nothing good. Oh my god. Okay, guys. I'm gonna use the bathroom. I'll be right back. And then when I come back, retail should be open. We can set our stuff and continue to try catching a giant snakehead. Okay guys, I'm back. Retail's open. We can sell our shit off.
Alright, back to trying to catch this giant snakehead. What is this? It's a bluegill, and I already have one. Well, I'm very happy with the bridge placement because <laughs> it makes it easy to walk around this area in a circle, which makes fishing easier. Um, I didn't actually intend for it to be that way, it just happened. <laughs> Way too far out. Okay, this is better. Wow, down the one. Okay. Oh, you're welcome. I'm glad that um, you that you like them and that breeding has been easier for you now that they're there. I, blue roses, I believe, are like the hardest hybrids in the game to get. So many blue gills. It's worse than sea bass almost. I don't remember because I bred those roses like five years ago. Okay, I already have one of those. I'm good. Maybe somebody else here in the chat will want it.
Ooh, peaches. I remember when I first got this game, I didn't know about Perfect Fruit, so I sold mine like an asshole. What is it? It's a Popeye goldfish. Oh, this is something new we can add to the museum. Awesome. Okay. We are going to get our meow coupon. So should I now like, should I work? No, I want to fill up the empty spots. I'm going to, I already have it. So it can't, it's not worth, I want to spend the time. If we're doing anything, if we're going to spend time fishing, I want it to be to fill up spots in the museum. And I almost ran right past the ladders. Oh, the site that I use for the notepad isn't working. I should really go find my pen tonight so that I can go back to checking them off in the book, in my booklet, like I usually do. Oh, awesome. All right, I'm just going to donate the Popeye goldfish and like make another note somewhere else that I had donated it. Yeah, I do, um, but as you know, the Wi-Fi hates me, so I'm probably going to have to trade with you off, um, stream. Kyoto, sup? Well, that's the fish. Yay! Okay, no problem. Thank you for understanding. <laughs> My eye is like cluttering so much right now. Yeah, well, it's raining in my town today, so um, I didn't know that, obviously, because I didn't start the game up. Um, you don't know what's going on in your town until you start the game, 
Um, so right now I'm trying to catch a giant snakehead uh, to add to the museum. I actually have seen the tarantula a couple times um, on street four times I want to say, but each time I was unsuccessful in catching it. Uh, but I'm really determined now because yesterday I caught the scorpion. I did catch a snail. <laughs> no, I didn't hack my town. Um, I plot reset by covering my whole entire town in QR codes. And then I only left the spots open where I wanted them to move into. Um, and then I picked up all the QR codes once everybody was lined up nice and neat. Um, if you watch my older videos, you can see me doing this process. Yeah, I'm not good with computers, um, so I would never be able to hack anything. <laughs> no, you... See, I, this is what I mean, like, they'll try to sell to you, they'll try to give it to you, so, uh, Fauna's eventually gonna give us, she really wants us to have that radi radiator, by the way. Plot resetting? I still watering. Uh, well, it's much easier now because you can do it with the QR codes. Um, back in the day, you just had to make 20 fountains and make new characters and pray for the best. Um, but if you need more details, you can watch my older videos and I like do it on, you know, stream. So, yeah, I do. I'm just like trying to catch like other little. It's not the only fish that I'm missing right now, but it's the one that I, like I know for sure that I'm missing. And plus there is like a badge for, you know, how many fish you catch. So I was like, I might as well catch whatever I see. Our fish encyclopedia is coming along pretty well, I think. Yeah, feel free to ask me if, if you still have like questions, feel free to like send me a message about it. I'll do my best to get back to you. No problem. <laughs>
Yeah, I'm the same. I feel like this game is trolling because in Quantico, I've been playing that game for like five years, and I still only have the bronze badge for like bug, bug catching and like uh, uh, catching fish, like the quantity you've caught or whatever. And I'm like, how is this possible? It's okay. Your English is fine. <laughs> I'm like, this game has to be trolling me because it's been five. You're telling me I haven't caught like at least enough for it, like to warrant the silver one. <laughs> God, I'm gonna try dabbing it with like a napkin. Maybe that will make it stop tearing up so much. Another Popeye goldfish. I feel like just in general in this area, spawn rate is like not really doing so good. Let's go down to the beach. I should definitely have gotten like the silver one at least because I think like on my 3DS the one that like I use like for not for streaming like my personal 3DS I guess I've played this game for like 2,500 hours that should have been enough a walker cicada sweet up, Darren? Peaches. Oh, did you have a long shift? Oh, is your fruit the same? Were you hoping to sell it like in somebody else's town? I see, I see. You work at the billiards place, right? Pool? Oh, what do you do? First, like, I was, when I, after I learned about Perfect Fruits, when I saw what the apples were, I was, like, really mad. Because I thought the apples were, like, the prettiest, but the peaches look kind of like butts, so I think it's kind of funny. <laughs> I'm, like, okay with it now.
Oh, what are you gonna stream? Do you have a computer and everything yet? Ooh, when are you going to start streaming? Did you order one yet? Um, well, honest, I don't have, like, that many belts. I'm trying not to use my first town to fund this town because if I build everything and upgrade everything, like, too quickly, it won't be fun anymore. Um, the trees, same thing. I'm waiting to, like, place more public works projects so I know, like, where I want to, like, place the trees and stuff. Um, I had cut them down, like, originally, like, in the beginning of my stream so that I could, like, place the QR codes and plot reset for my villagers. So I'm slowly trying to, like, you know, decorate it, but it doesn't happen all at once. Oh my god, my hair looks crazy right now. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> yeah, so I, it takes a lot of work into developing a town. As you saw my storage over there, I have a whole bunch of bushes, trees, fertilizer. Like, I'm getting ready for decorating. I only started this town like three months ago, so it's gonna take a while to get it like where I want it to. Because on top of decorating, you have other stuff that you wanna do, um, you know, like collecting items to decorate the house, filling up the museum. Um, I don't think I'm gonna try to complete the catalog in this town. It's a lot of work. It took me almost two years on Quantico to do it. But I do want to fill up, like, the museum. Nibble fish. Ooh, another new fish. Oh, I'm very, like, type A when it comes to planning my town. I want everything to be perfect. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's like a lot of hard work to build a perfect town. And then also, I you also want the balance between like what Isabel 
says is a perfect town according to what Nintendo wants so that you can get the golden watering can. Oh, no, trust me. I, like I said, on my original DS, I've put 2,500 hours at least into the game, and that was only the last time I checked it, so I don't know what it is now. Oh, don't be sorry. Yeah, I heard about that. If you have too many trees, Isabel uh, says that, yeah, I, I know it. I didn't know what she says, but I do know that having too many trees, like, negatively affects the town rating. Um, I'm not too worried about it because I only want the town rating so that I can get the golden watering can and, and like, maybe some, like, Jacob ladders to, like, decorate the town. But eventually, I am going to decorate the town how I want. Oh, yeah, there's like a lot of guides on it. I think the ideal is like 75 to 150 trees, if I remember correctly. Sure. Okay, talk to you later. Oh, I was close, 95 to 100. 50 more flowers, 5 po 9 villages, less than 10 items in chat. Yeah, and then certain public works projects are considered good or bad, like illuminated public works projects negatively affect your town rating, while stuff like the flower arch uh, is considered like a good public works project. Yeah, that yeah, that's an example of one that's like not a good one.
Yeah, there's like a lot of guides online that show you, uh, that tell you like what you have to do. Another Popeye goldfish. When am I gonna get my giant snake head? Thanks for the follow, Kyoto. Ooh, a guppy. Okay, all right. I don't want to complain because I am catching like I have caught like quite a few different things from the museum. The pop up. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. I understood your message. <laughs> uh, what you were trying to say. Why the heck? I don't understand why my eyes... Because, like, usually when my eyes are watery, they water, like... Here, if it's allergies. I don't know why it's, like, watering. On my upper lash line. At least my eyelash isn't coming off, I don't think. Um, it's seven, almost eight o'clock at night. It's, I just made it early in the morning so that I could, like, catch fish in Animal Crossing. What time is it for you? Oh wow, it's late for you. <laughs> I would be more of a night I think like naturally I'm more of a night owl but because I have to be up early for work I'm like I get really tired so I fall asleep like um so you know I go to sleep early at night but if it wasn't for that I probably would be more of a night owl because I hate like I'm definitely not an early bird like I hate I hate mornings I hate getting up <laughs> But I have to, because I gotta go to work.
It's early for you. I'm so hungry. Well, no, not right now, but I mean, like, when I go to sleep and wake up. Like, tomorrow morning I will. <laughs> But like not not like after ending the stream. Oh, are you enjoying yourself? Oh cool gamer, you're also you're on the west coast just like Marshall Crossing then. Oh yeah, you were saying how you live near um, Disneyland. What part of Canada? Do you like it there? That's cool. Sworn live? I don't get it. Oh, <laughs> because I cursed. Yes. Uh, not PG thirteen.
No, it doesn't come out in the rain. So I'm working on the giant snake head instead. But um, like when I named the stream like tarantula hunting, I didn't know it was raining in my town. Uh, and then I spent like the first half of the stream looking for the vegan tarantula and not knowing that um, they don't come out in the rain. Very misleading. I'm probably going to name it something else when it goes on YouTube that, like, makes more sense. There's so many of them. Have you ever actually had one? They look so small. Like, are they meant to be eaten? Oh, okay, you were just making a pun. <laughs> oh, really? What do they taste like? Are they actually sweet? Sour is definitely, like, not a word you want to use to, like, describe fish. What do you mean by, like, deep? Neon Tetra. Oh, I caught one of those already, apparently. Okay, I was going to be really excited. And run to the museum, donate it. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me for my stream. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't catch Tarantula, but we caught a ton of new stuff for the museum. Oh, okay. Yeah, it doesn't sound like it tastes very good. Okay, guys, good night. Thank you. I love you guys. Bye.